All right, boys and girls, it's time for the introduction to Budget 15 Shootout. What I'm going to do is spend the next few weeks, or several weeks, um, testing Budget 15 subs, not a lot of them. I'm going to do them in a sealed box, which I'll show you in a minute, and a ported box. The sealed box is two cubic feet. It's a little small, but it'll work. It's going to have to work. I'm not building another one. Uh, the seal, the ported box is going to be 3.25, 3.5. I haven't built it yet. And uh, basically, I'll run the sub for three or four days or a week and uh, go through each sub in the sealed box and then go through each sub in the ported box. Uh, this Serwin. What is this? Uh, V15. V152 DV2. I'm not sure they still make that, but that's one of them. Uh, Image Dynamics 15. Uh, I have this Core 15, which I'm not even sure. That's probably a mid base, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, Audio Legion Armada 15. A Fu 750. 15. I do have a pile, but you know, I'm just not going to test it. Uh, right there with that eBay sticker, that is uh, an MTX 15, an old school one. And we've got a CT Sounds uh, Tropo 15, American Bass DX 15. Uh, that is a uh, NVX VSW 15. Then that is a Wolfram TI 15, and on the bottom is a Gladiator TI uh, Gladiator Gladiator mm, D4 15. So, what is the objective? The objective is to under $150, budget buy, preferably more than under, you know, the more the better under, uh, you know, budget base. What performs what? Uh, is the $150 sub better than the $99 sub? There's still a couple more I want to add to it, uh, which I have not got yet. I'm going to try to see if they have a deal over 4th of July. The Machete 15 and... Uh, a Rockville 15 and the Rockville the K6 and the K9 are only like five dollars apart but simply because of their giant difference in weight so I'm probably going to go with the K6 um, so what is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, or, gosh, it's hard getting old. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 13 subs. Lord of mercy. I'm going to try to uh, change them out. I meant to change one out. I ran the image dynamics last week and meant to change it on Wednesday, but we had rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I changed out and put the Serwin, which I'll show you in a minute. So there's the Serwin Vega in the sealed box. All of these are gonna be run on my Soundstream, the TXP-1-6000, uh, which any of you that's looked at a dyno, they're 2,000 on a dyno. Uh, I'm not really concerned with power handling as much as I am sound. I really want to see how much pressure it puts in the car, uh, the quality of the sound, at what point do you turn up the gain and you lose definition, that sort of thing, for the average low budget bass head. So that is your introduction and that's going to be over the next several weeks. Look for it on base heads on a low budget on Facebook. That's it. Have a good one.